week 12 of the fantasy basketball season. And he's a few centers on the rise this week. The first guy, Kevin Love of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So what a bounce back season it's been here for Kevin Love. After the last few seasons, he's been injured. And a guy who hasn't produced for the Cavs or fantasy owners on the season. 14.7 points a game. 7.6 rebounds. 2.1 assists. 2.7 threes a game. And 44% from the field. But the last few weeks here for Kevin Love. 23.8 points a game. 8.8 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 5.2 threes a game, and 47% from the field. So right here, he's been putting up huge stat lines, his love. And even with Jared Allen and Mobley back in the lineup, I still think he could produce playing only about 25, 30 minutes a game. So the last few games here for Love, December 31st versus Atlanta, 35 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, 7 threes, 55% from the field. January 2nd versus Indiana, 20 points, 8 rebounds, Four assists, a steal, three threes, and 46% from the field. Then January 4th versus Memphis, 18 points, 10 boards, two assists, four threes, and 33% from the field. So I mentioned Love is a sell-high candidate early in the week, and I still stand by you. With Allen and Mobley coming back, his minutes are going to go down a little in stats, in my opinion. And it seems like over the last four or five seasons, he just hasn't stayed healthy a whole season is Kevin Love. So right now, well, he's rising up the ranking board over the last few weeks. This is a perfect time to sell him high as a sell high candidate. The next center on the rise this week is Joseph Nurkic of the Portland Trailblazers. So Nurkic, he's been a guy over the last few seasons that's definitely been affected with the injury bug. And now he just came off the protocol list as well a few games ago on the season. 13.5 points a game, 10.5 Boards, 2.4 assists, and 56% from the field the last few weeks here. In the two games, he returned for Narkic. 17.5 points a game, 12.5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1.5 steals, 52% from the field. So the two games back here for Narkic, January 3rd versus Atlanta. 21 points, 12 boards, 5 assists, a steal. January 5th versus Miami, 14 points, 13 boards, and assists, 2 steals, a block. 71% from the field. So right here, he's producing his Narkic in the two games back. He's scoring the basketball. We always knew he was a good rebounder. And right now, he's definitely rising up the ranking board after he was out for a good week or two years, Narkic. But as long as he stays healthy and gets good playing time, which he usually does 25, 35 minutes a game range is Narkic. He's definitely a center. But this week, he, he's definitely a center that could produce for fantasy owners. And he's on the rise this week. The next set is Bizak Mayumbo of the Phoenix Suns. So with the Suns, a lot of guys on the protocol list here. Mayumbo was signed last week to a 10-day deal. And now he's been renewed for the whole season a few hours ago. Which is good news for Mayumbo. So, so far in the season for him, in the quick stint, he's been with the Suns. 13.5 points a game. 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.5 steals a game. And 84% from the field to fantasy owners. Have gone out there in 17% of fantasy leagues and added by Umbo. And we know in his Hornet days, he was a good rebounder and shot blocker in the first two games for him here with Phoenix. 11 points a game, 11 points, 6 rebounds, and assist to steal a block. 71% from the field at Charlotte. And then January 4th at the Pelicans, 16 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 3 blocks, and 100% from the field. So two games. Got him a remainder of the season contract, so that's good for Bayambo. But once Aiden comes back and Javon McGee, he's going to be lost in the shuffle, in my opinion. But right now, in week 12 here, he's definitely a center on the rise. The next center is Robert Williams of the Boston Celtics. So Robert Williams, he came off the protocol list a few weeks ago here. And he's been playing better basketball on the season. 9.9 .9 points a game, 8.9 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 2 blocks a game, and 74%. From the field, but right here, since Williams returned over the last few weeks, his numbers have gone up a little 10.2 points a game, a whopping 11.8 rebounds, 3.4 assists, a whopping three blocks a game, and 72% from the field. So, right here, he's an old school type of center, is Williams. A lot of garbage time points and put back baskets, but he's also a guy that could bas pass the basketball and obviously block shots the last few games from December 29th. Versus the Clippers, 16 points, 14 rebounds, and assists, 2 blocks. December 31st versus Phoenix, 10 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals, 5 blocks. What a triple-double and 100% from the field. And January 5th versus the Spurs, 6 points, 
Nine boards, two assists, a steal, two blocks, and 60% from the field. So Williams, he's been very efficient. He's been helping fantasy owners in five or six categories. And he's definitely a center on the rise this week. And the fifth and final center on the rise is Trey Lyles of the Detroit Pistons. So Lyles, a big pickup over the last few days. And his numbers have definitely gone up on the season. 8.8 points a game, 4.4 rebounds and assists. 43% from the field, but the last weeks here for Trey Lyles, his numbers have been great, 18.7 points a game, 7.3 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.3 blocks a game, 1.7 threes and 50% from the field, so right here, Lyles, he's playing good basketball, but the only thing, Isaiah Stewart should be back soon, but as far as this week, he's definitely a center on the rise, the last few games here for Lyles, December 23rd in Miami, 28 points, Eight boards, two assists, a steal, four blocks, three threes, 53% from the field. January 3rd in Milwaukee, 11.7 boards, three assists, a steal, 41% from the field. And then January 5th at the Hornets, 17.7 boards, an assist, a three, and 53% from the field. So right now he's been playing good minutes, 30, 35 minutes a game usually here for Lyles. But when more players return for Detroit, he's probably not going to put up the numbers. But as far as I'm concerned, for this week, he's definitely a center on the rise. So that's a few centers on the rise here for Week 12 of the fantasy basketball season.